Howdy, folks. Live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. Stay, dine, and relax year-on on the shoreline of Lake Superior in downtown Bayfield. Any traveler, any season, any meal, your view awaits. More info at thebayfieldinn.com. And by the Bayfield Chamber of Commerce, beautiful Bayfield in the Apostle Islands. You can tour sea caves and shop our galleries and stores on the shores of Lake Superior. Info at lodging at bayfield.org. And by the Ashland Chamber of Commerce. Ashland, Wisconsin has year-round fishing on Shawamigan Bay. For a free fishing brochure, visit ashland.com. And now, here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, and singer-songwriter, Michael Perry. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. Tonight, we revisit a night in 2004 when the Kingston Trio brought their historic folk pop, or not folk pop, depending on who you ask, sound to the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua tent, along with a little taste of the legendary John Stewart, who wrote, among other things, the Monkees' hit, Daydream Believer. And later, at intermission, I'll share a financial story about cattle panels and sunk costs. Why not? Folks, the music you're about to hear emanates from a special space in a special place. The Big Top is just that, a grand blue and pearl gray striped canvas beauty suitable for a circus, but in this case, home to a history of live performance centered on the stage. The Big Top seats are set directly on the earth, and what a spot of earth it is, high atop a hill overlooking beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, Lake Superior, and those all-natural water-bound wonders, the Apostle Islands. If you enjoy that vision, if you enjoy what you hear over the course of the next hour, and and if you want to see and experience it firsthand, please get to know us at www.bigtop.org. It sounds beautiful up here because it is beautiful up here. You ought to come on up.
Our musical feature this evening was recorded nearly 20 years ago by a group regarded by many as the rocket fuel that launched the folk revival of the late 1950s and early 1960s. The group itself was ambivalent about this designation, but there was nothing ambivalent about their record sales, from their very first single, which sold 3 million copies, to another 19 albums that made the Billboard 100, five of which hit number one. Over the years, they formed and reformed in many configurations, but always carried with them the spirit of a time when American music was transforming in ways that echo right down to the present. For now, we leave our present for the past and a glorious night in a tent on a hill with the Kingston Trio. Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard To look one and dirty in the view Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard Great God, to look one and do it be true Well, there is a house in this old town Tell me, Bobby That's where my true love lays around She sat down upon another's knee Tells him what she never will tell me More monitor Oh, well, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard To look one and never did a few you, you Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard Great God, to look one and never will be true Well, the first time I saw my true love She was standing by the door And the last time I saw her false-hearted smile She was dead on that bar of floor Hard ain't it hard, ain't it hard? The love one and you. Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard? Great God, the love one and never will be true. Well, now, who's gonna kiss your pretty lips? I will. Who's gonna hold your little hand? I will. And who's gonna do well? You know what? We all when will. I'm down in that promised land. Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard? The love one and never did love you. Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard? Great God, the love one and never will be true. All right, all right. Oh, well, don't go drinking and gambling. Don't go there, your sorrow's for to drown. This hard liquor place is a low-down disgrace. It's the meanest damn place in this town. Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard? To love one who never did love you. Oh, it's hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard? Great God, to love one who never will be true. You know oh, it's, it's hard, hard, ain't it hard, ain't it hard? To love one who never did love you. You're wild. <laughs> Thank you very much. Boy, what a nice group. Yeah, this is the overflow. <laughs> yeah. But damn, you all look so old. <laughs> Good timing. One, two, three. three. <laughs> Sat in an English tavern, three jolly coachmen sat in an English tavern, and they saw hide it, and they saw hide it, and they saw hide it to have another flagon. The landlord threw the flowing bowl into the dock and run over. Landlord threw the flowing bowl into the dock and run over. For tonight, when there I be, for tonight, when there I be, for tonight, when there I be. Tomorrow will be summer. What? It's only a song. Here to the man who drinks our kale and goes to bed quite mellow. Here to the man who drinks our kale and goes to bed quite mellow. He lives as he ought to live, lives as he ought to live, lives as he ought to live, and dies a jolly good fellow. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, 
to the man which water pure and girls to make by sober. Yes, to the man which water pure and girls to make by sober. He falls as the leaves do fall. Falls as the leaves do fall. Falls as the leaves do fall. He'll die before October. <laughs> Here's to the maid who steals a kiss and runs to tell her mother. Here's to the maid who steals a kiss and runs to tell her mother. She's a foolish, foolish thing. She's a foolish, foolish thing. She's a foolish, foolish thing. For she'll not get another pity. Here's to the maid who steals a kiss and stays to steal another. Here's to the maid who steals a kiss and stays to steal another. She's a moon to all mankind. She's a moon to all mankind. She's a moon to all mankind. For she'll soon be a mother. Yes. Mother. Thank you very much. We'd like to sing a song right now written by one of Canada's foremost folk singers and songwriters. You know who the greatest songwriter come out of Canada was? Who? Duke Ellington. No. Yeah, he wrote Take the Train, eh? <laughs> Click, no, no. Don't feed the animals. <laughs> Jesus. I'm talking about Gordon Lightfoot. Are you familiar with Gordon's music? <laughs> wonderful singer, wonderful guy. <laughs> And he gave us a song about 30 years ago. It's one of our favorites. It's called The Early Morning Rain. Remember one thing in life, any one thing. Jesus. In the early morning rain, with a dollar in my hand With an aching in my heart And my pockets full of sand I'm a long way from home And I miss my darling soul In the early morning rain With no place to go I don't run away number nine Big seven and seven said to go But I'm stuck here on the ground Where the cold winds blow Well, the liquor tasted fine And the women all are fast There she goes, my friend Rolling now at last Hear the mighty engines roar See the silver wings on high She's a winging westward bow High above the clouds she fly Where the morning rain don't fall And the sun always shines Should it fly on my home in about three hours' time? This old airport's got me down. It's no earthly good to me. Cause I'm stuck here on the ground. Cold and drunk as I might be. You can't jump the jet plane. Like a can of freight tree So I'd best be on my way In the early morning rain You can't jump a jet plane Like a can of freight train So I'd best be on my way In the early morning rain so I'd best be on my way In the early morning rain oh. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. The guy hears a scratching on his front door. He goes to answer the door, and there's nobody there. But he sees a snail lying on his doorstep, so he picks it up and throws it across the street into the woods. Three months later, he hears the scratching on his front door. He opens the door, and the snail looks up and says, so what was that all about? <laughs> Just cranky, I guess. Some people say I'm the no cap. Others say I'm no good. Very few. But I'm just a natural born traveling man. Doing what I think I should. Oh, yeah. Doing what I think I should. Here it is. Built. And I don't give a damn about a greenback dollar that was in spend it fast as I can. Oh, wailing song and a good guitar. The only things that I understand. The only things that I understand Go. When I was a little baby My mama said, hey son Get out, travel where you will And grow to be a man Sing what must be sung Oh yeah Sing what must be sung Two, three, four, five, six And I don't give a damn about a greenback dollar six Spend it fast as I can for a wailing song and a good guitar The only things that I understand Oh boy, the only things that I understand Now the time a grown man I traveled here and there I learned that a bottle of brandy and the song The only ones who ever can Oh boy, the only ones who ever can and I don't give a damn about a greenback dollar Spend it fast as I can Oh, wait and song and a good guitar The only things that I understand Oh boy, the only things that I understand Oh yeah, the only things that I understand Oh boy, the only things that I understand And I don't give a damn about a greenback dollar Spend it fast as a can Oh, wait and song and a good guitar The only things that I understand Oh boy, the only things that I understand Oh yeah, the only things that I understand Oh boy, the only things that I understand All right Thank you very much. You guys are great. You're wild. Some sort of a wild thing going on tonight. They're rioting in Africa. They're starving in Spain. There's hurricanes in Florida. And Texas needs rain The whole world is festering with unhappy souls The French hate the Germans The Germans hate the Poles Italians hate Yugoslav South Africans hate the Dutch And I don't like anybody very much but we shall be thankful and tranquil and proud For man's been endowed with a mushroom-shaped cloud And we know for certain that some lovely day Someone will set the spark off And we will all be blown away They're rioting in Africa there's strife in Iran What nature doesn't do to us <laughs> Will be done by our fellow man All right, all right
Okay. okay. We'd like to do a Calypso song for you and tell you a little story about the Kingston Trio. Uh, we majored in business administration in business college. And when we got out with a Bachelor of Science in business administration, we said, why don't we become Calypso singers? <laughs> why not? Yeah, at the time, that seemed the right thing to do. <laughs> we started, that's how we got the name Kingston, from Kingston, Jamaica, a place to which not a one of us on stage has ever been to this day. <laughs> And uh, we started off playing Calypso, all, all stuff Calypso, all, everything in Calypso being He was playing the congas and the bongos, and we were just having a great time. And uh, we even had to wear silly hats once, yeah. Remember the San Mateo Fair? Yeah. More than once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Perry Como show too, yeah. yeah. But uh, we, uh, we saw right away that other people sang Calypso better than us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tommy Lasorda, Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lord Invader wrote this song, and... Uh, we were down in, uh, in Key Largo, Florida. My, uh, my niece and her husband owned a hotel down there, and they had hired an old guy to come in. Oh, he must have been in his 80s or 90s almost. And he came in, and he was sitting down playing an old beat-up electric guitar, singing the old Calypso music that we first got started on. And he sang this next song, and I couldn't resist it. I got up from the bar, and I walked over and said, Say, where'd you learn that song? And he said, Oh, off an old Kingston Trio record, man. <laughs> he was real old. Confusion as you will see. There was a mama and a papa and a son who was young. Who wanted to marry, have a wife of his own. A woe, a me. Shame and scandal of their family. A woe, a me. Shame and scandal of their family. Though we found a young girl who treated him nice. He went to his papa to ask his advice. His papa said, son, I got to say no. The girl is your sister, but your mama don't know. Ah, whoa, I'm me. Shame the scandal of their family. Ah, whoa, I'm me. Shame the scandal of their family. So the weeks went by. The boy looked around. Soon the best cook on the island he found. He went to his papa to name the day. Papa looked at him and to him he did say, You can't marry that girl. I got to say no. The girl is your sister, but your mama don't know. Oh, 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 me. Shame and scandal on their family. Oh, 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 me. Shame and scandal on their family. Well, the years went by. He wished he was dead. They had 17 girls, but still wasn't with. Your sisters, but your mama don't know. Oh, whoa, I'm me. Shame and scandal on their family. Oh, whoa, I'm me. Shame and scandal on their family. So he went to his mama and he bowed his head. Told his mama what his papa had said. His mama said, son, go, man, go. Your papa ain't your papa, but your papa don't know. I won't, I'm me. Shame and scandal of their family. I won't, I'm me. Shame and scandal of their family. Thank you very much. A guy calls his wife from his office in Los Angeles, calls her up at home. He lives over in the San Fernando Valley. The maid answers the phone. Maria, can I speak to my wife, please? I'm sorry, senor, but your wife's upstairs with your best friend. Rats. <laughs> Maria, you know what to do. Get the gun, go upstairs and shoot them both dead. Five minutes goes by, he's heard a couple of gunshots. Maria comes back to the phone. 
I've done what you told me, senor. I have shot them both dead. What did you do with the gun, Maria? I threw it in the pool. The pool? Is this four, three, five, six, four, six? <laughs> That was my mother's favorite joke. <laughs> We'd like to sing the song right now about Charlie and the MTA. <laughs> sing along, clap along, do whatever you want to. It's coming anyway. Well, let me tell you the story of a man named Charlie on that tragic, fateful day. Not again. He put in his pocket just his wife and family went to right on the MTA. Still unlearned. He may ride forever deep the deepest streets of Boston. He's the man who never returned. Charlie handed his gun at the Second Street station, and he knew he had to change it pain. When he got there, the conductor told him one more nickel. Charlie couldn't get off of that train. But did he ever return? No, he never returned, and his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever beneath the streets of Boston. He's the man who never returned. Now all night long, Charlie rides through the station, crying, "What will become of me? How can I afford to see my sister in Chelsea or my cousins in Roxbury?" Well, did he, he ever return? No, he never returned, and his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever beneath the streets of Boston. Charlie's wife goes down to the Scully Square station every day, quarter past two. And through the open window, she has Charlie a sandwich as the train comes rumbling through. Well, did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his state is still under. How about a six pack? He may ride in the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. Watch his fingers, folks, they never leave his hand. Scandal how the people have to pay and pay. Yeah. Fight the fair increase. Vote for George O'Brien. Get poor Charlie off that MTA. Get him off. Well, did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever beneath the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. He's the man who never returned. <laughs> He's the man who never returned. You are listening to Tent Show Radio. Hey, to Charlie. Horse. Welcome to intermission, folks. Yesterday, my fitness routine included ripping and dragging cattle panels out of the underbrush in a cold rain. There is a logger coming to trim the trees I let grow too big, too long, too close to our pole barn. If I don't pull the panels, they'll get crushed. And if I cut those trees down myself, the pole barn will get crushed. So there I was, damp, muddy, and festooned with wet burdock burrs, hacking and yanking away. There was buckthorn to be bushwhacked and popple to be chainsawed before I could even approach the panels. Then I had to cut the triple twist wiring tying the panels to the posts, three twists per post. I twisted all that wire myself way back when and, I am sad to say, did a fine job. Many of the panels were braided with grapevine, some of which had grown thick as a garden hose. For those, I used a lopper. Finally, the bases of the panels were knitted to the earth by many years' worth of weeds and vines and the earth itself, into which the panels had sunk. This is where the yanking came in. If I never become a billionaire, 
I'm going to blame those cattle panels. They represent what your corporate finance folks call a sunk cost, money that has already been spent and which cannot be recovered. Although some of those panels and posts came with the farm and were thus repurposed, the majority of them were purchased fresh at the farm store or at auctions. Perhaps I will one day recoup a portion of those funds through an auction of my own, but the bulk of the sunk cost got sank through the most irretrievable currency of all. Time. I had pigs back then. Figured I'd expand into beef. Or beefers, as my people say. I had a whole plan about how I'd fence the old barnyard with fresh barbed wire, then construct a long chute made out of those cattle panels from the barnyard out past the pole barn, where it would open into the main pasture. I worked at it for weeks, drafted my buddy Mills. We got the job done. But I never got the beefers. Life happened, a lot of it on the road, selling books, selling stories. In time, I even had to let the pigs go. In the big picture, this is as it should have been, because as someone raised on a working farm, I've always known I wasn't a farmer. And yet, as I pulled those panels, I felt a twinge of regret. Over time, I had developed this little routine in which I joked about raising theoretical beef, which is the best kind of livestock for a typist such as I. And yet I still harbored a thread of hope that I might one day look out back and see the real thing, grazing hillside. All this time, the weeds and burdock and grapevine never stopped working. The trees I should have been trimming kept reaching outward and ever nearer the pole barn. Disasters aside, nature wins through patience. The cattle panels are now stowed in the pole barn and recategorized as part of my retirement portfolio. Some investment hotshots are into cattle futures. I'm into cattle panel futures. When the time is right, I'll cash out. Should I cash out first, well, into the estate they go. La-di-da. Much of life is built on sunk cost. I'll count it a blessing just to break even. And now, back to 2004 and the Kingston Trio. Joined toward the end with John Stewart, currently waiting in the wings. I've been doing some hard traveling, I thought you knew. I've been doing some hard traveling, way down the road. I've been doing some hard traveling, a rambling, a gambling. I've been doing some hard traveling, Lord. I've been working that Lincoln Tunnel, I thought you knew. I've been pushing that pressure drill, way down the road. Hammer flying, air hose sucking, speed of mud, I've still been mucking. I've been doing some hard traveling, Lord. Clever words. I've been doing some hard traveling, I thought you know. I've been doing some hard traveling, way down the road. I've been doing some hard traveling, a rambling, a gambling. I've been doing some hard traveling, Lord. All right. I've been working that hard rock tunnel. I thought you know. I've been working that Pittsburgh steel way down the road. I've been blasting, I've been firing, I've been stuck in that red hot iron. I've been doing some hard traveling, Lord. I've been doing some hard traveling. I thought you know. I've been doing some hard traveling way down the road. I've been doing some hard traveling, hard rambling, hard gambling. I've been doing some hard traveling, Lord. I've been hitting that Lincoln Highway, I don't you know. I've been hitting that 66, way down the road. With a heavy load, I'm worried by looking for a woman that's so hard to find. I've been doing some hard traveling, Lord. One more time now. I've been doing some hard traveling, I don't you know. I've been doing some hard traveling, way down the road. I've been doing some hard traveling, hard huh, traveling. Thank you very uh, much. It's hard to sing here at beach level. Yeah, I know. We'd like, we'd like to sing a song right now written by... Uh, how many people uh, saw John Stewart on Friday night? Anybody here? There were a lot of people last night. 
Uh, but John sang with the Kingston Trio for, oh, about, about seven years in the early part of the 1960s, and he wrote a lot of songs for us. Now he's a big shot and writes for Johnny Cash and, and all kinds of people. He's a wonderful, wonderful performer. And, uh, he writes for Zamfir. <laughs> writes for Zamfir. <laughs> yeah, right. This is a song John wrote in uh, about 1962 in my front yard, in, uh, or my backyard. <laughs> I didn't have a front yard. <laughs> I didn't have any money. I didn't know money for a front yard. In about 1962, in my backyard in Sausalito, California, it's one of our favorite ballads. It's called Chilly Wind. I'm going where them chilly Gonna find a true love That is where I want to go Out where them chilly winds don't blow Sing you a song Sing it soft and low Sing it for you, baby then I'll have to go Out where them chilly rain don't blow Wish I was a headlight On a westbound train I'd shine my light on That cool car That's a beautiful song. You might see a new face on stage. John's personal bass player and a personal friend of all of ours for at least 20 years I know of, Mr. Dave Batty on bass right now. Should I just bring John up? Should I bring John up? Remember, folks, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. Yeah. Right now, we'd like to, uh, as long as Dave's out here, we'd like to sing a song written by Woody Guthrie uh, about the first ship that was sunk in World War II, a destroyer sunk off the coast of Iceland. And we'd like to have John Stewart join us on this song. Here comes John right now, Mr. Big Shot, personal friend. And this is a real thrill for us to have John on stage. Grab this baby. Put it where you want to. Uh, it's called the Ballad of the Reuben James. Any minute now. <laughs> Have you heard of the ship called the Reuben James? Heart by heart, but 
she commit for the butter hand of me. She flew the stars and stripes from the land of the free. But tonight she's in her grave at the bottom of the sea. But they what were their names? But they what were their names? Then you have a friend on the good room in jail. What is a big what were their names? So they what were their names? Then you have a friend on the good room in jail. One hundred men went down to their dark, watery grave. That good ship was found, only forty-four were saved. Was the last day of October, they saved the forty-four. Those dark, icy waters of that cold Iceland shore. What were the names? What were the names? What were the names? That you have a friend on the good road and shake the water jump. What were the names? Tell me what were the names? That you have a friend on the good road and shake. They watched for the U-boat and waited for a fight. But an old wine and a rock and a great explosion roar. They that room in chains of the cold Atlantic bar. But tell me what were the names? Tell me what were the names? Did you have a friend of the Kingdom in chains? So tell me what were the names? Tell me what were the names? Did you have a friend of the Kingdom in chains? That good ship went down. Those cold, icy waters are still have their calm. Many years have passed. Still, I wonder why the worst of men must fight and the best of men must die. The pay went where the names. The pay went where the names. Did you have a friend on the good road in jail? The pay went where the names. The pay went where the names. Did you have a friend? Thank you very much. Today we have priorities in life, as we all know, and I want to pass on a couple of priorities to you. A young man walks into a bar, orders a drink, sitting by himself. The most beautiful woman he's ever seen in his life sits down three stools down, and he sneaks a peek at her. And she catches him looking at her, and she said, Sir, I'll do anything you want for $50. You just have to tell me in three words or less. He said, you'll do anything for me for $50? I just have to tell you in three words or less? And she said, that's right. And he said, paint my house. <laughs> Could I get a little more of this, Andy? I've been born in New York City A New York City girl I know And working in the concrete, not the sunlight Living in the New York rain and snow For there's California bloodlines in my heart And the California woman in my soul Yet there's California bloodlines in my heart And a California heartbeat in my soul And just to think that I might have never known If I had lived my life in Tennessee But I really could have never let that happen For you in California and me Sing along with us there's California bloodlines in my heart. 
California woman, California woman, be my song. Yet there's California bloodlines in my heart, and a California heartbeat in my soul. like a song And I know it's then I saw the big Sierra Saw California sunrise coming on But there's California bloodlines in my heart There's a California woman in my song And there's California bloodlines in my Mr. John Stewart. God, what a great song. That's wonderful. I'm going to sing a little solo, but John's going to sing with me this time. This is one of my favorite songs. I used to sing to my kids when, Brown, when they were little and they were still in the cradle because they couldn't get up and run away from when they... <laughs> I'd love to have you all sing along. I'll teach you the words about halfway through. It's called The Hobo's Lullaby. Do you love it? <laughs> oh, good. Well, then you'll sing. You already know the words. Hell, I don't have to teach you nothing. Okay. I'll teach you all the words about halfway through. Go to sleep, you weary hobo. Watch the towns go drifting by. Can't you hear the rails singing? That's the hobo's lullaby. Don't you worry about tomorrow. Let Tonight you've got a nice warm box car Free from all the wind and snow Try it now, go to sleep you weary hobo Go to sleep you weary hobo Watch the towns go drifting by Watch the towns go drifting by Can't you hear the rails singing? That's the hobo's lullaby. That's the hobo's lullaby. Good night.
John. Thank you. Mr. John Stewart. Ben Schubert on the banjo and Paul Gabrielson on the bass. Thank you. Throughout history, there have been many songs written about the Eternal Triangle. This next one tells the story of Mr. Grayson, a beautiful woman, and a condemned man named Tom Dooley. When the sun rises tomorrow, Tom Dooley must hang. We'd love to have you sing along with us on this song, too. I know a lot of you know the words. Most of you have been to camp. <laughs> or rehab. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Everybody do it now. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. I met her on the mountain. There I took her line. I met her on the mountain. Stabbed her with my knife. All right. Hang down your head, Tom. Julie, hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom. Julie, oh boy, you're bound to die. This time tomorrow, reckon where I'll be. Hadn't been for dreams, I'd have been in Tennessee. Tomorrow, reckon where I'll be down in some lonesome valley, hanging from a wide oak tree. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry, oh boy. Well, hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Oh boy, you found. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When I was saying everybody, I forgot to thank Dave Batty, who was John's bass player, as I say, for years. So let's have it a big applause for Dave, too. Yeah. Wonderful. Great guy. Uh, Tom Dooley sold by far the most single records for the Kingston Tree over the 40 years we've been uh, together. But the most requested song over that 40-year period was not even sung by the trio, but by Bob Shane all by himself. What? <laughs> the barrel, Terry. Hmm. I heard that uh, a lady lived outside of town here a couple of miles this afternoon called the fire department and said, help, help, I have a fire, send somebody out. They said, how do we get there? And she said, don't you have that big red truck anymore? <laughs> Same lady called the dog pound. Help, help, there's 25 dogs in my front yard. Are they mad? 23 are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> enough, enough dog stories. Yeah. This song was written in 1932 by an anonymous composer.
Lots of soda, mud in your eye. Baby, do I feel high of oh, me? Oh my. Do I feel high? Try martini, ginger of gin. Oh, what a spell you've got me in. Oh, my. Do I feel high? People won't believe me. They'll think that I'm just bragging. But I could feel. Way I do still be on the way. All I need is one of your smiles. Sunshine. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn with 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on site restaurant, and rooftop bar. There's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. More info at thebayfieldin.com. And we're brought to you by Bayfield County Tourism. Find out how to get in touch with your inner wild at travelbayfieldcounty.com. The Kingston Trio. Another historic night in a historic big top. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who's hearing good things about that secondary cattle panel market. We'd love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show one day. Details always available at bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next, we share the air. Remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.